I remember hearing an incredible sermon on Isaiah chapter 61, sat in some wooden pews just across there. It was as if the speaker was talking directly to me when he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon you because he has anointed you to preach good news to the poor. He has sent you to bind up the broken heart and proclaim liberty to the captives. setting out on a journey to find out more about this radical manifesto issued in Nazareth so long ago. My travels will take me to four continents and I'll be meeting all kinds of people along the way, local pastors, activists and church members as well as national and international leaders. I want to know how Luke 4 is shaping and challenging the church in these different situations. The Christian world already has a wealth of excellent resources. And we think the Jesus agenda will complement these. But we also think it will supplement it by adding a few things. We want this to be an adventure. And this may present you with questions which you cannot fully answer, and that's okay. But we think it will also lead you to asking personal questions about what your role and response to advocacy should be. And we think it will lead to bigger questions. What should my church do? about those who cannot speak for themselves and how will we integrate our understanding of the good news about Jesus Christ as we speak up for the poor. How do you bring these two together, worship and political engagement? Ah, because the church is part of the society and the members of the church are citizens. What relationship does the Spirit of God have with biblical justice and the poor. The context of Luke 4 is all the way that he's baptised, the Spirit came upon him. The Spirit led him. The Spirit led him out into the desert. The Spirit led him. And then he goes in, in, into the synagogue, picks up that passage, and he reads, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And I think it is the, the Holy Spirit who anoints us, empowers us. The duty of the church is to continue the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, that Jesus went everywhere doing good. Can you imagine the power of us all lifting our voices together and saying, this is what our faith means to us. This is why, you know, this is why this changes the world. If people don't hear, see and hear that around these big, big important issues about people's rights and people's development, where are they going to hear them? My journey has been a relatively short one. But the journey of the Christian church towards biblical advocacy has been a lot longer. But if it's true that one in three individuals on the planet is a Christian, think what could happen if those of us who claim to follow Christ became passionate advocates of the Jesus agenda.